Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Dragon Ball episode 44 and 45 and the most likely at the end of episode 45 I will do a short arc review for the first three arcs or just score basically and go through the events that happened um, but if you're watching this on YouTube you don't have to think about that now it'll be in the next video so shout out to everyone who is, is here in the live stream Yasin, Odinoko, Mike, Modru Zella, Dark Shadow, uh, Sotos, welcome everyone, uh, Odinoko, did I say Odinoko? Um, I was just downstairs, I chatted to my parents who just finished a race, like a mountain biking type race, and my dad did 40 kilometers and my mom did 20, and my mom almost broke her neck when she went downhill, and there was like a bump in the road, like very suddenly, and the, her, her whole bike lifted, but then she said, through God's intervention, it went back down, like it went against gravity. And uh, she was fine, even though her, everything lifted and she just doesn't know how it happened, but she didn't fall. Because <sighs> it could have been very disastrous. Um, and even my dad, who's had a heart attack in the past, his heart rate was about 90% of what it's allowed to be. If it had gone more, he could have like, I don't know what is with my freaking daredevil parents. It's like the opposite of me. <laughs> like cycling, exercise. <sighs> no, I'm joking. My parents are not, they're not adrenaline junkies or anything. They just really love exercise. I, I might be adopted <laughs> because, no, I'm kidding. I like exercise, just more like yoga and Pilates is so nice. I just haven't done it in ages. I feel so bad. I should exercise more. Anyway, I've got some of their sports drink that they were gif gifted. I'm going to try it. It's okay. I already tried it, but I'm not a big sports drinker fan, sports drink fan. But this doesn't taste too bad. It's obviously if I was exercising, you'd need the electrolytes. But because I'm, I didn't exercise today. It's like, I don't need all these natural caffeine, B three, B five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make the joke about the adoption. No, it, it's impossible for me to be adopted because I look too much like my parents. <laughs> Both of them combined. You can see a little bit of my dad and a lot of my mom in me. So anyway, let's go. Goku to Nakama to Kiken Gai Gai Pai. Oh, Ipai. Oh, Kiken Ga Ipai. I said Gai Pai <laughs> because I didn't read it as Ga. I read it as Ga I Gai Pai. <laughs> He's literally a little baby. A little baby. <laughs> Who can bring a bad baby? <laughs> oh, Joe-san! Whoa. Oh. <laughs> He's sniffing her. <laughs> He's like, how did he? <laughs> she looks like an iguana. The first floor garden, as opposed to the second and third floor gardens. This is my dream. An inside outside that is giant and has a bunch of animals. That I can all, like, come my animals, please. Oh, you have a cat you don't want? Give me. Oh, a doggy? Oh, give me. I have so much space. Dinosaurs. So wait, the cat is, the cats and dogs are basically dino feed. <laughs> Oh, look at the little 
black cats on his shoulder. Now you know the secret. Be born to rich parents. Well, we don't know that. She's not the one that takes in the animals. He's the one. So maybe he he his secret is invent a bunch of cool shit that the world loves and pays you a lot for it. That's his secret. Because he's the one that takes in the cats, not Bulma. Oh, that's not... <laughs> He also is a smoker. <laughs> the little grey cat, the pink cat. I'm wondering if it's her dad's inventions or if it's her inventions because someone kept commenting about how Boma is the smartest scientist in the world or something, something. And I'm, there are little details that you could uh, surmise that, but I really don't think that people needed to comment that. So my point is, um, because of that perception that has already been built in my mind because of certain comments, I'm not so sure it's her dad that made everything or is it her. Yokata. Is that a little R2D2? Because I thought for a second that was a tiny R2D2. It looks that way. I, she probably invented her own version of Kintoen because she was jealous she couldn't ride yours. Oh, that's convenient. Whoa. Yeah, she can sit in his hair like a nest. No, you can't ride on Kintoen. You can sit on his shoulder while he rides on Kintoen. Let's not get it twisted. <laughs> wow! Wow! Puma's mama is a pitchy pitchy mama! <laughs> oh, sake? A genius thief. Husky. I spy Booba. Or maybe it was just the angle. <laughs> My favorite audio. Boom, bing, boom, bing. Oh, I can't wait. I love it. The reason why I'm wondering if it's a girl in the first place is because I really love his designs for girls. So I'm so excited to see without the helmet. Cool outfit. It's quite the bulky girl too. Like she's, she's built with muscle. The music is so good. Very 80s. Oh, now she doesn't look as bulky anymore. For a second, I thought it was like Ranchi's bad version, but why? Yeah, that's lunch. No, it's not. <laughs> it's lunch, sister. <laughs> but that's very lunch energy, right? Someone walks into the door. <laughs> they know the gaki. Maybe he's super popular with the girls, and does she get jealous? 
That's tough. I would, I would throw them with water balloons. Can you get arrested for that? What if I put like something sticky, Coca-Cola balloons? Just throw them with it. Like, how dare you, outside my house, where I live with my guy, eat water balloons. <laughs> Her parents definitely put her on edge. Because, <laughs> mm. like, and I like, like their response. Like, they're just like, ah, oh, rebellious, period. And then they just let her go. <laughs> oh, that level of chill. I hope I can have some of it. Let's go! Speeding, speeding! Zabu, bazabu, zababu, what? Don, can, zbau. Mac dog. Mac dog. Mac dog also. I have many Mac barber shop shoes. Another Mac dog. It's just the same background that repeats. Which is totally... I only noticed because I paused. I was just trying to see how many shops there are. Egghead! <laughs> oh. Um, I don't think it has anything to do with it being the 80s or 90s. They still reuse backgrounds like that, even worse in some cases. You don't need to, to explain it though. I didn't think it was bad. I, it makes sense for such a small scene to do that. It doesn't, why would you do a hundred different shops if you could just reuse the same shop? The only reason I noticed was because I paused. Oh, and, uh, and also, um, some people seem to be confused the whole time, like, why did I think his clothes were Nazi clothes? But if you Google, okay, wait, communist uniform, like, they don't look exactly the same, but you can understand why I would wonder. Because <laughs> here, this is a communist uniform, so it's pretty much exactly what he wears, which is the, I don't know, this, this doesn't look like a literal, this looks like a, a show or something, so it's not a, exactly a real one, but it seems... This is the kind of idea people have. But then if you took take a look at the Nazi uniforms, it's, it, you know, they, you could think it's, uh, if you don't know, it, <laughs> it's greenish with a red thing. And I think it was a fair question is what I'm saying. <laughs> and um, a lot of people don't think that the whole communist pig is the joke, but I, I think it is, a, it is the joke. How could it not with that outfit? And he's a pig. Like, how could that just be an accident? I think it's definitely a joke. In his heart. Buma's in his heart. That's why he pointed. He's probably gonna say something sweet and then she's gonna love him again. She's a genius. I think that it is to be expected for someone like her to maybe have a difficult personality. And she's going through puberty. It's a tough time for a girl. Probably she's in insecure with all the girls hanging around him and he doesn't know what to do so he doesn't like tell them to go away because 
he's a nice guy. So she's insecure and he's too nice. And so there's conflict the whole time. And because they're young and they don't know how to to talk it out or, you know, deal with the conflict, it's been it's a too difficult strain on their relationship. But I do like it uh, because it's realistic for a couple to have arguments on, on such silly things on such a young age. Because even me, when I... When Hunk and I were dating when I was like 19, like I was studying and he was at home and he hadn't decided what he wanted to do yet. So he would go out with friends a lot and there would be other girls that like him. But then that doesn't mean that he likes her or them. But I would uh, like, you know what the girls want from him and he's too nice to like, and, and it's not really fair to expect him to like not go out when the girls are there and they're thirsting after him. But he's just out with his friends and the girls are tagging along. So... I can see how it um, would put a lot of pressure on a, on a girl and on a relationship, especially, you know, if she's feeling insecure. So I would have to give a hard disagree on Zilla, saying she's terrible, terrible. I think that that's being super unfair and you're not remembering your worst moments when you were feeling insecure. It's... So I have to say that I am very disappointed in your comments on her. <laughs> but... I like that at least their personalities, they seem to be a good match. It's just that they're a bit on the extreme sides where he's too nice and she's too harsh. But she is young, so I think that she'll grow out of that, but we'll see. Or she just needs a man that can, you know, handle her. I know Bulma to the end of the show, that's unfair. And I actually love the character for real. Their relationship is perfect at this point because she's young. So I don't... I was just joking. You can say you think she's terrible. I literally think Misty is terrible because she's so rude to Psyduck and Psyduck is just a little baby. He doesn't even do anything. And she's so rude about him. So, I mean, what I'm saying is you can totally think any character is terrible for whatever reason. I was just saying I'm disappointed. <laughs> but I think Misty is terrible in those episodes because Psyduck didn't do anything to deserve, like, her attitude. Whereas Yamcha and Bulma, they're in a relationship and they can talk it out. Psyduck is just a little Psyduck baby. What's he supposed to do if she just says, Oh, Psyduck, you're so lame. You're so... Like, come on. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Misty is 12. Bulma is a young woman. One or she's 16. We'll see about that. This is gonna be fun. There is such a, like, the suspense being built here is actually really good. But, obviously, because they have a lost few seconds to drag out, it was quite, like, like, it kills the suspense. Like, there was suspense, and then it goes on for just too long, and I'm sitting here like, okay, now the suspense is dead, because it just dragged on for too long. So, let's see. Master Thief. Husky. Goku to nakama to kiken ga ippai. Koku friends and tons of danger. Oh, because of Husky is the danger. I was just about to say, where was the danger? I literally thought this was like Lunch's second personality at first. With the, when they hit her face and it was blonde hair falling out of the out of the um, helmet, I was like, oh my gosh. She's making strides. Oh, I'm watching six episodes every week, so that's why my pace is quite fast. Okay, differences from the manga. In the manga, the scene with Commander Red and Staff Office Black happens before the scene with Bulma fixing the dragon radar and showing Goku the microband. In the anime, the scenes are the other way around. That doesn't change anything. Yamcha's fan clubs shouting at the window is exclusive to the anime. Uh, so in the manga, they talk about the the club, but they don't they don't show them, okay? Husky and the events surrounding her at Dreamland are all exclusive to the anime. So that's at the end, that just to lengthen the episode a bit. At the first floor garden of Capsule Corporation, there's a Tori bot hanging on a tree. Baragon, a monster from Godzilla series, makes a cameo in the episode. In Bulma's room, there is a poster in the background with a character whose design resembles Major Metallotron. So that is the, the tr Terminator, right? In the shot just off, there's a second eye catch. There's a ship that bears a resemblance to X-Wing from Star Wars. Akai Tomato from Akira Toriyama's one-shot Tomato, Tomato Girl Detective 
makes a cameo. In the Japanese version, the drinks that Bikini <laughs> Bikini offers to Goku were, were alcoholic. The dub, for obvious reasons, did not mention this. That's funny. Her name is Bikini. What is Bulma's surname? Do they have surnames? Did you know that Nami's first design concept was based on Bulma's first design concept? I very long ago saw something like that, but at the time I didn't know Bulma, so I d didn't really r realize. Brief. Oh, Brief? Burifu Hakase. Is Brief their surname? So Bulma Brief? Ah, and the bikini brief. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Officially, Bulma has no surname, but her dad is named Dr. Brief, so people just went with that. That makes sense to me, too. Yay, I'm so happy everyone's back. And fat fucking chance for this guy to say bad things about Bulma when he was literally terrorizing towns and stealing their girls. Like, he has no leg to stand on. Maybe Puat is pure and maybe has a leg to stand on, but this communist piggy. I haven't seen Urusai Yatsura. But I want to. It's the one with the girl with the blue hair, right? Looks cute. Ki o tsu keru. Kiyotsukero. Be careful. Ko chu no wana. Ko chu no wana? Kuchu, kuchu no wana. Who said the V word? I don't know what is the V word and I don't know who said it. Oi! <laughs> so nice to have the team back together. Oh, I haven't been to a theme park in like. 11 years I want to go <gasps> if I if when I go to Japan I want to go to Jap Japan Disney World or Japan Disneyland or whatever oh he violated at least a thousand girls and still talks about how terrible is Boma that's what I meant oh violated is not a bad word I don't know if he actually did anything to them I'm pretending that he didn't but he just stole them and had them in his house where they, remember, they took advantage of him eventually. And the, they were actually very happy to live in such a big house with TV and the, all these things. So in my mind, he didn't violate anyone. <laughs> but he did still kidnap children, so. And that's actually really cool to me that she says chiketto, chiketto, because um, in my Japanese lessons, I've heard that ticket is kippu, but that I also heard that most people don't say kippu, they say chiketto. And I thought that was something newer, like m since more and more people have been going to Japan and the, you know how globalization or whatever when the world and the internet and people mix their languages with other languages, especially English often. Um, and I thought Chiquito was like a newer thing, but turns out it was even back then. There are two Disneyland in Japan, one is terrible, the worst in the franchise. I also, and Spyler also says Disney Japan would be so awesome, it's on my list. I heard that there was one for adults and one for, that's more kids, but I don't know, I'll have to do my research and see. But I'm definitely going to Universal Studios Japan because there is a one piece event that I don't want to miss. Like literally that's one of the reasons I want to go in August. <laughs> it's because of this event. Wow. Damn it. Whoa. <laughs> it's possible that she just wants a bigger commitment from him because his dream is always to get married, right? And yes, she's too young to get married, but this is an anime. 
So maybe she just needs a reassurance from him that those girls can't steal him. It's easier to push someone away before you get hurt. So maybe he just needs reassurance. But he doesn't know what to say sorry for. It's a trap, it's a trap! Go Ruga Fufuken, all the girls, Yamcha. <laughs> Look, Bom, I'm beating them up for you. Is that good? No, I don't think he needs to do that. I just think he needs to mm, reassure her that she's the only one. Yeah. Yeah, go away with her. See what happens. Because he thinks she's Ranchi too. <laughs> Goku is one of those people that would make a person feel really bad about themselves without meaning to. We know why she knows that. Hey, stalker. Ay, my Tana. Oh, look at this pure little foe. <laughs> yeah, he totally did it on purpose. Ara, <laughs> ah. Oh no, he would easily get distracted by a pretty girl. Th see, that's another one I think of, of um, another reason their relationship could be strained is because he gets flustered around the girls quickly. Hanku has nothing can phase him. A girl with a big badonka donks. Have you guys seen that clip of this guy being interviewed it was some kind of basketball player or something and this girl was interviewing him for some sports center i don't know and she had like even i had difficulty not looking and this guy was talking straight to the camera and even when she talked to him he was like yeah yeah and then <laughs> my point is that even that can uh, like like yeah it's not that's not to say that it's right i'm just saying that's something that happens especially when you're young so my point is that's probably the part of the reason why he gets flustered with all those pretty girls da, 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 after him. And uh, she is like, why are you even getting flustered? You should only have eyes for me. So <laughs> I'm thinking that he, well, the bulls are in trouble is what I'm thinking. Even she knows. <laughs> crap so that's definitely it's not that he has a fan club it's that i'm guessing he gets flustered around them and she's like why why i'm assuming when hanku talks to another girl she is basically a man to him she's got a even if she's got flotation devices on her chest in his mind 
it's a washboard and she's got Kintama in her panties. He... His mind has been trained. <laughs> Oh no, please don't walk in on him with this woman. Oh no. It's gonna give her such a wrong idea. And there's the problem. He goes so weak in the knees. Like, I saw this video of this guy rapping on stage and then a woman leaned down to basically grab his stuff. And he literally, he stood there, he looked like he was going to whack her, which I, in my honest opinion, he had every right to do. Like one swift punch to the head. But he just walked off the stage. So my point is, um, what is my point? Oh, fangirls are crazy. Yes, it's harassment. So my point is, imagine six girls on this man, where he literally goes weak in the knees. No wonder she's stressed out. And yeah, what did the fireworks mean, huh? Oh, that's bad. Oh, that looked really bad from her perspective. <laughs> At least once she was shown to be a villain and the guy said, she's a fake. At least he tried to fend her off, but that's only because she was attacking him with a sword. When she was trying to kiss him, he was just like, uh, 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 uh. I would also be mad. My boyfriend was like that. Like, oh no, I'm too, like, get your crap together. I know he's technically, like, he's got this legit anxiety about even talking to women. But that's the problem. She has anger issues. He has woman anxiety. And he can't even, you know, push a girl off him. So, you know, they they need each other. <laughs> Oh, let's see about that. I wanna remind me to Google that video afterwards. I really like her hair color, it's a very nice platinum blonde. let it go and they should tickle me someone explained to Boma what happened he doesn't realize that she saw I'm not gonna lie, if, if I randomly happened upon Hanku kissing another woman... Uh, okay, but to be fair, we're married, so I would try and confirm what happened. <laughs> From her perspective, it looked pretty bad, so... 
And the, even then, the worst girlfriend in a man's POV. Oh, please. Half the freaking internet would die for any girl to date them, even if she was a tough cookie. And besides, the only reason she did that to him because he was kissing another girl from her perspective. And even before she saw him kissing the other girl, that woman was trying to kiss him and he didn't even say, wait, I have a girlfriend and I'm in love with someone else. He didn't even say anything, not to mention trying to push her away. So at the very least, I think he deserves that slap. At some point, he's going to have to learn that when you have a girlfriend, you can't let your girl anxiety... Uh... Obviously, Balma has to work on her anger issues, but he also has to work on his issues. And the only way that they're going to do that is by talking. And it seems like neither one of them wants to talk. So if she's a bad girlfriend, he's a bad boyfriend. It's Then it's same, same. She's smart. She's decided she doesn't take shit. The worst girlfriend in a small boy's POV. She's not perfect, but... If you're waiting for a perfect girlfriend or a perfect boyfriend, you're never, ever going to date anyone. So, good luck with that. Maika. Yep, that's the attitude, Goku. That's the attitude. Yay! fine they had the both have a lot of growing up to do and the, even in the, my own relationship with Hanku we dated for one year and then we broke up because we both had growing up to do even though he's still the one that didn't even have the guts to dump me or anything he just stopped talking to me after a year because some guys are just lily levered something rude like him <laughs> but like i said i think that they both have things that they could work on hopefully they'll work on it separately on on their both issues <laughs> oh yeah thank you the wiki is safe and remember you wanted to google a video okay so the video i wanted to show you guys was um i'll try and find it wait i'll let me get it on the on the, here because otherwise it's it's too difficult to show you Imagine if the roles were reversed. So this woman grabs his junk and he legit looks like he wants to punch her. And I would have, if he did punch her, I think that he would have been well in his rights to do so. And then he just like, he's like, I'm done and leaves. Cause it's true. What if the roles were reversed? Why did I talk about that video again in the episode? Why do I have so many tags? Yamcha getting kissed against his wall? No. I would have hit her so hard, not gonna lie. Instinctively, I would have hit her hand. Like, I would freaking... <laughs> She's lucky he had that much restraint. But I don't remember why I spoke about it. It wasn't... I don't know. Just go back to the video if you want to find out. Um, so let's quickly take a look at the page. The wiki page. And then I've decided that... You talked when Husky was about to kiss Yamcha. No, no, no. It was because... It was because I was saying fangirls are crazy. So he needs to man up. Because if those fangirls that were screaming at his door... Those fangirls... Fangirls are crazy. So they will do stuff like that. They will try and take advantage. And he's the kind of guy you can take advantage of. So I was saying that Bulma's... Even though her expression of her concern and her insecurity is wrong... The fact that she is scared and insecure is totally justified in my opinion because fangirls would definitely take advantage of him because even that one woman could almost like... She was taking advantage of him in that moment right in front of her eyes. Imagine what six fangirls could do. So that's why I brought it up. Okay, I remember now. I now know why I was confused at Boma's mom being named Bikini because she's named Panchi in Dragon Ball SD. It's a manga that is redoing all of Dragon Ball but makes fun of the series. Danger in the air. So that probably is a reference to the bomb, I guess. 
high up in the sky. Down, Goku Bulma, Yamcha, Oolong, and Puar spend the day at Dreamland. Goku stops Husky and saves Dreamland. And Goku and Bulma sit on an adventure to find the Dragon Balls, which I'm super excited about because this is actually one of the things that I'll bring up in my review. But as nice it is, as it is to travel with Goku, it's similar to One Piece where in any ensemble cast type show, the main character is the main character and the, we all love Goku, we all love Luffy, we all love Gon, we all love, you know, any MC from a shonen. But it's that much more fun when the cast is together, you know, and, and, the, and the character has someone to bounce off of, especially characters that you've grown to love. Like, it was nice with Hachan and Snow as well, but... When it's characters you've built up a, a relationship with, it's even more fun. So my point is, in the same way that, you know, it would be nice to spend a few episodes with just Luffy, but it's even better when there's at least one other straw hat to, to kind of pull together, to bounce off of. The dynamic is more entertaining, fun. Um, so it felt kind of like that in parts of this arc where I was like, I'm, I really miss Bulma and Yamcha and all the kind of hijinks that they get up to. The dynamic of the whole crew together is so good. Even just one or two extra characters, you know? Um, so I'm really, really glad that Bulma is joining him again. And I look forward to see what they get up to. Every dumbass needs a straight man. That's the essence of a comedy duo. Or trio. Like Gintama is another great example where you have Gin and the the girl whose name I always forget, and then Shimpachi, he's the straight man in the trio, and the just kind of, it all pulls the jokes together really well. So, differences in the manga, with the exception of the final scene with Goku and Bulma heading off on the Nimbus, the entire events in this episode were exclusive to the anime. What? Wait, 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 what about the previous one? So then even... Her fight with Yamcha is kind of like dragged out in a sense, but I think that it adds to it because you can see exactly why him having all those demanding fangirls would be a problem. So I think it does these, it does, it didn't feel like filler to me. Um, it was very exciting. It was similar to the last filler with Snow and the, the Hakase, which I gave like a 10 out of 10. I would say this is, um, as filler almost on the same level because it didn't feel like filler as much as some other filler in the series have has felt so far so for example i didn't really love the start of the red ribbon um, the red ribbon army i didn't really like those first couple of episodes it was a little bit boring to me and that's why i watched it in like 1.25 speed um it was definitely not as fun and entertaining as the filler here towards the end uh, but it could also be because my expectations were a little bit high since people were commenting things like, oh, I can't wait for Red Ribbon Army arc and this and that. And then, you know, when your expectations are a bit high because of stuff like that, maybe I was overestimating some things. I don't know. As epic as it was, I feel the same with just Luffy after Shabondi Island until the time skip for One Piece. I don't remember that I felt that way about Luffy, but that's because who was with him? There were other characters. Like, I could spend... As long as there are two or three straw hats on the scene, even if Luffy isn't there, I'd be entertained. But even when it was just Luffy... Like, I think he was alone for a while on Boa's Island, right? So I was still... I still felt like there were strong characters around him, but it's always going to be yeah, enhanced when you have the main characters like Nami, Zoro, Usopp. And what I really love about One Piece is that each duo within the crew has a different dynamic and the, the jokes surrounding them when those two are together are different and it's so funny. I saw it was filler, but I didn't mention it because it's fun. Seeing how you feel about the fillers without knowing that they're filler. Oh yeah, I agree. It's fun to talk about good filler versus bad filler. There were a lot of good characters like Jinbei, Bonkle, Crocodile, but I still miss the crew a lot. Mm. But here with, with um, Goku on his own for the first few episodes, 
there weren't really any strong characters around him like Jim Bay, Bong Clay, Crocodile. There were, as far as I remember, in the first few episodes, it was just him kind of like, I mean, you have the silver, he is the main antagonist, but, and even Hachan, he only came much later. So it was a bit difficult for me, the start of this arc to get really into it, but overall it ended pretty strong, even despite being fuller, so. I can't read that. Can I read the differences in the manga from the last episode? So all of this was filler. Let me read. With the exception of the final scene. Oh. So basically then in the manga, Goku arrived in the city, found Balma, found out Balma and Yamcha were having a fight because of his fangirls, and then they just left together. That is a lot less kind of sensationalized, <laughs> um, which is not a problem. I don't think the, the anime didn't do it justice. I think the anime did do it justice. Unlike the filler where they extended Hachan stuff. I think they didn't do well there, but here they did pretty well. It kind of fit with the characters. Like with Hachan, it made me feel like his goodness isn't just goodness, it's stupidity. And I didn't like that. But here, I think that they very well keep Bulma and the Yamcha's like it's it's realistic it's like that yeah that's typical <laughs> you know what i'm saying although i can see why a lot of people would have chosen one side over the other and kind of went to extreme sides as a, while we, while you're talking about it and choosing but boma should do this but yamcha should have done this no 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 so since it happened over two episodes i can see how maybe some fans but it was the 80s i don't think people thought about it that much <laughs> like I delve into this kind of even relationships in freaking anime because in this case it especially reminded me of my own relationship with Hanku when I was 19 and kind of how things went but like I said I think that they did a good job of extending it because like I said we could see exactly why a fangirl a group of fangirls would have been a problem so their fight makes sense and it's good in a sense like I already said, for both of them to have some time apart because clearly they need to learn separately. Sometimes that's what any relationship needs at a young age is just for two people to grow separately, you know? It's obviously the ideal would be if you could grow together, but you don't want to stick together out of um, stubbornness and then the relationship becomes toxic because you can't sort out what you need to sort out because you're too young and you don't understand the depth of the problem, insecurity, blah, 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 all these things. So, for, for example, in my case with Hanku, I'm glad we didn't try and hold on to the relationship and just kept fighting about these things. We just kind of went our separate ways and grew as people and then found each other again later. So, hopefully that happens for Yamcha and Balma, but I now know who, Yam, uh, who Balma ends up with, so I kind of don't have that much hope. I don't know. Um, in the TV airings, the scene where Goku drops his pants is edited so that he's wearing boxers with Dragon Balls on them. <laughs> That's really funny. In the recap, the narrator states that Yamcha's popularity with women had him walking on air. Yet in the last episode, Yamcha showed no happiness from this and was even shown as depressed due to it making Bulma angry at him. I don't think it was so much walking on air, but he definitely gets flustered around girls. I think the walking on air is just meant to be a reference to him getting so flustered when the girls are cooing and the screaming and everything. Did you get spoiled or just no because it was unavoidable? I don't remember. Might have been a comment, but I'm not sure with this one. It's tough to stay unspoiled when it comes to Dragon Ball in general. But I think it was a comment. There have been quite a few comments like that, but I mean, spoilery. The problem is, when my mods ban someone for a spoiler like that, I ask them to to post it in a spoiler in a ban chat. So if someone gets banned, I know why they were banned. So if they come back and say, oh, I was banned for no reason. I was banned because I had a different opinion. Then I can go to the block chat and actually say who was blocked and why. So let me give an example. 
Damn colonizer still settling in Africa. Go back to Europe. We have suffered enough. So that kind of person gets banned. So that's the reason why they were banned. Because why do I need to defend myself against someone like that? So your daughters are going to be like Bulma. You only fans ho. I don't need to defend myself from someone like that. God, were you always this deadpan watching shows? No wonder I stopped watching you way back then. <laughs> so people like that get banned. But what I'm getting at here is when I see a spoiler that slips through my mods or someone's being excessively rude like that, I kind of react instinctively and I'm like, block. Ooh, shit, I should have screenshot that. But especially with spoilers, I don't want to screenshot because I'm trying to forget. Like, ah, I don't want to, I don't want to, don't think about it, don't think about it. So, yeah, sometimes I won't remember who or how I got spoiled, but most likely it was A. And I'll end things here and I'll see you for the review video whenever I make that separately. Uh, I'm probably going to react to Kaiji number eight now. And yeah, see you guys next week. Let's hope it's as fun as today. Bye.